Good evening, everyone. It is one of the last days of November, and there is some really heavy rain moving through tonight. But what sets tonight apart is the rain that's moving through now is not associated with any hurricane. It is actually one of the first winter rains. And there is something really cool that happens during the first winter rains in late November and early December, and that is the migration of the eastern tiger salamander. Um, eastern tiger salamanders can be abundant in some parts of their range, but they are not doing very well at all in the southeastern United States. And where I am going tonight is a notoriously difficult region to find them. Um, I will be heading up to the ridge and valley of North Georgia to look for them. And anywhere in the ridge and valley, they are extremely hard because almost all of their natural ponds have been destroyed. So the wetlands they are using now are basically cattle ponds and other agricultural wetlands. And, you know, for one, they're all on private property, so really the only way you can find them is to road cruise. And two, there's just not that much suitable habitat. It's just, you know, they're making do, basically, in these polluted cattle ponds and fields and open areas and whatever that is the closest thing they can find to their natural habitat. So, yeah, they really only move when the weather is just right, but it's in the 50s and it's going to be raining all night, so it's looking perfect. But I'm going to knock out the remainder of this drive and we'll see if we can make it happen. <laughs> rain, baby, rain! This is exactly what I came here to see tonight. This is a young male eastern tiger salamander. As you can see, it's still a really large salamander. But I can assure you this one is really young here. They can get much larger than this. This species is actually one of the largest terrestrial salamanders in the world. I believe they are the largest terrestrial salamander in North America. I'm definitely the largest of all of the mole salamanders. I'm going to move this guy off the road here and get my vehicle to a better spot and we will get a closer look. Okay, right here's a closer look at this little eastern tiger salamander. Absolutely incredible. This is such a tough place to find them in. Um, anywhere in the ridge and valley, whether it's Tennessee, Georgia, even Alabama, it's incredibly tough because as you can see, it's dark, I know, but I'm just out here cruising roads here through agricultural fields. And these salamanders are on the move right now to the breeding ponds. Um, the males typically move first when the winter rains come and then the females move later. This little guy right here is a male. So it would be nice to see some big females tonight. If you look closely at this guy's spots, unlike the spotted salamander, these are more of a dark yellow. Um, it really blends in with the dead grass here, which is just a testament to the time of year that these guys are active and breeding. You know, I, I believe their pattern is, has really evolved to blend in with grass like this here, just like what this guy's climbing through. You see right here away from the green vegetation, he would really blend in pretty well. And hopefully this is a sign that there will be more. But I'm going to move this guy off the road and get some photos. Right here we have tiger salamander number one. This is a much bigger one than the last one, really nice pattern. And right here, we have tiger salamander too, just across the road from it here. The rain has slacked off to a very light drizzle. Um, the temperature is dropping and it's blustery, but apparently these guys are still moving. They must think it feels pretty good. Um, at the beginning of the night, it was actually just pouring the rain and it could have been a little bit too much. And now that it has stopped, these fields are still wet and they are moving, but I'm going to get these guys closer together here before I lose them and we'll get a closer look. And here they both are together. Would you look at that? Um, these are just incredible salamanders, especially up here. So difficult to find. Um, it is right at 55 degrees right now. And once the temperature drops below that, you typically quit seeing these. They prefer it to be um, 
over 50 typically they can move down into the 40s but you know um low to mid 50s is typically the cutoff point so this may be the last salamanders that i find tonight but hey i'm happy if it is now that i've moved these guys they're being really chill here this one may actually be a female let me take a look pretty sure it's just a big male yep that is right there that swollen cloaca that that says male all day The fact that both of these guys are males leads me to believe that it is still early enough in the season that I can come back and hopefully find some females and some more of these, hopefully into January. We'll see how it goes. Um, this guy's taking off now. I'm going to let him walk around for a little bit, but yeah, check this one out here. Beautiful tiger salamanders. I'm going to photograph both of these here, get some good pictures, and do a few more passes and hopefully we'll see some more before the night's over with. All right, I got my photos right here. Here's a look at both of these tiger salamanders. I moved them across the road here in the direction they were heading. The rain is picking back up now. So maybe it'll make these guys want to scurry down to their breeding pond and stay away from the roads. Go on, buddy. Good morning, everyone. It has been a few days since you've seen me during the tiger salamander migration. That was an awesome night, but there has been a huge temperature drop since then. Basically, every night um, after that one has been freezing or below. Um, so yeah, it's been really cold and it's great weather to look for some stream dwelling species. So today I'm out here in the upper Piedmont of North Georgia in a really unique region where there's a lot of hilly mountainous type habitat, um, lots of steep little streams and things and lots of nice ravines where you can find seal salamanders, you know, spring salamanders, red salamanders and lots of things that you wouldn't expect here in this region. So. I'm going to hike through this nice habitat here. And First salamander of the day is one of the main species that I came here to see. This is a large adult seal salamander. Now if you notice this individual is really dark, has a huge head big meaty jaws just a really stocky salamander but if you look closely you will see that this salamander has very little pattern and that is a pretty common trait in seal salamanders that occur here in the upper piedmont of north georgia um, seal salamanders are really common throughout much of the southern appalachians but once you get down here in the piedmont they have a very limited distribution and they are pretty restricted to these hillier more rugged areas here in the extreme northern Piedmont that borders the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite lineages of seal salamanders. Really unique looking population. Um, not many spots or pattern on these. So I'm going to get some photos of this big guy here and let him go and we'll see if we can find anything else. And the next salamander of the day is this little southern redback salamander here. These little guys are from the genus Plethodon. They are one of the more common fully terrestrial salamanders here in the Piedmont of North Georgia. Um, they live their entire lives on land and have no aquatic larval stage, much like the other members of their genus. Um, pretty common little salamanders. This one is just hanging out here along this stream. They are pretty surface active in the um, fall winter and spring really the heat of summer is really the only time when you won't see them so yeah really cool little southern redback salamander i'm going to take some quick photos and keep on hiking up this stream here and we'll see what we can find so as i was walking up this stream here i just saw something swim across my boot really quickly and sure enough it's another seal salamander just out in the daytime here 
swimming around. Um, these guys really don't care. I think he just went under a rock there. But anyway, another nice seal. I'm going to keep hiking up this beautiful stream here, and we'll see what we can find. And hours later, and probably 200 rocks later, I finally have one of the things I was looking for today. This is a really big, old adult red salamander. Now, typically red salamanders are more of a red coloration, but as they age, their coloration fades, and once they get really old, they start to look like this big girl here. Um, they get this really dark purplish, can be a maroon, almost a brownish coloration, and the red just fades as they age. In her day, she was probably a bright red salamander. Could have been a darker one anyway, but to me, this looks like a really old individual. It's not really well known how old red salamanders can live, but I'd say this one here could be 15, 20 years old potentially. Really long, um, really dark coloration. I have been trying different springs and streams and seepage areas all day for these guys and the Carolina spring salamanders. Right here's the habitat. You see it's a bit different than the rocky, fast-flowing stream I was in earlier. But yeah, I'm going to get some photographs of this big old adult red salamander. I know it's kind of dull, but it's cool to see one this large and with this much of a faded pattern. Um, she was under this bark right here. So I'm going to put her back and get some photographs and we'll see if we can find a spring salamander before the day's over. Go back under your bark, big girl. So I have been out flipping rocks and hiking up streams all day long in search of Carolina spring salamanders and I quickly ran out of daylight and ran out of time to make it happen. So with that being said, I feel like it's a good um, stopping point to end the video here. But before I do that, I would like to say I will be heading out for Carolina Springs again, potentially at night at some new sites because I feel like I would have great luck with that species after dark. And I will also be heading out for Eastern Tiger Salamanders again because the other night, um, every salamander I found was a male. And that indicates that it's early. They move to the ponds first. So there should be some females here in just a week or two. So I'll definitely be going back to see some of those. But yeah, I think it's a good time to end the video here. So like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Do all of that good stuff. And thank you so much for watching. It helps me tremendously. It helps my mission tremendously. So thank you. It means a lot. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time.